Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about egg part 2. Yesterday we had already discussed about egg part 1. Please watch the whole video to get maximum benefits. I have included a lots of data in today's video regarding egg. It will be helpful for your exams like FSSAI, Food Safety Officer, etc. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications. Characteristics of fresh egg. Fresh eggs have best quality. Quality of egg can be determined by many factors like shell color and texture. Usually of white or brown in color, fresh egg shell is uniform and 0.35 mm thick. Shape. Ovate in shape. Egg shape is expressed as shape index. Shape index of normal egg is 72. Usual range is in between 70 to 74. Albumen quality. Fresh egg has thick, slightly cloudy, slightly greenish yellow due to riboflavin. Color of albumin. That greenish yellow color due to the riboflavin. Presence of riboflavin. Your quality. Round, firm, yellow in color and stands up well. Air cell, size of air cell also an important factor. Defects in fresh eggs, cracks, leaks, loss of bloom. Also meat spots and translucent spots in the yolk. Factors affecting quality of eggs are age of the egg, storage atmosphere, temperature of storage, relative humidity, Pre-treatments given before storage. A temperature between 1 point, sorry, one, minus 1.5 degree and 0 degree Celsius is recommended. Evaluation of quality of egg. Quality of egg is tested using the following methods. What are these methods? Let us look into that methods. First one is canning. Second, floating in water. Sensory test. White index. York index and the last one is Ho index. Candling. What is candling? The quality of the egg in the shell is evaluated by candling. This is very very important for an exam point of view. The egg is held against a source of strong light. Candling will reveal a crack in the shell, the size of the air cell, the firmness of albumen, the position and mobility of York. The possible presence of foreign substances like blood spots, molds and developing embryo. Right side, you can see a picture how to perform this candling. Second one, floating in water or water test. Test is based on the principle of density of the egg. Eggs are dropped into water. If the egg sinks, it is considered as good. Poor quality eggs floats due to increase in size of the air cell and due to loss of moisture. Next, a sensory test. What is sensory test? Cracked, smelly, rough surface indicates poor quality of egg. Next one, the fourth one is white index. White index. Height of thickest egg white portion divided by egg diameter. That, that is known as white index. How to calculate white index? Height of thickest egg white portion divided by egg diameter. Usually the range is 0 0.08 to 0 0.1. Next the York index. York index means how to calculate York index. It is height of York divided by York width. Usual range is 0 0.35 to 0 0.45. Ho unit or capital H U. Commonly used index to check the egg quality. HU or HO unit. Height of thick white divided by weight of egg. Good quality egg. HO is 72 and above. And HU, HO about 30 to 60 indicates poor quality of the egg. Grading of chicken egg. Eggs are graded and marketed based on weight and quality. Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS Standards based on weight, extra large, 60 gram and above, large means 53 to 59 gram, 
medium 45 to 52 gram small one means 38 to 44 gram quality exterior egg quality shell quality based on shell cleanliness shell soundness shell texture and shell shape interior egg quality based on the relative viscosity of the albumen shape and firmness of the yolk it is free from foreign matter in the albumen free from yolk defects and size of air cell BAS standards there are two quality grades namely A and B please read this table changes of egg during storage A physical chemical changes occurring during storage increase in the size of air cell due to loss of moisture increased pH due to escape of carbon dioxide pH increases from 7.6 to 9.5 over here percentage of thin white increases thus egg white loses its shape and runs easily water passes from white to yolk the fluid content of yolk increases yolk becomes enlarged and flattened yolk migrates nearer to shell loss of weight of egg all these changes make egg more suitable for invasion by microorganisms that is all about physical chemical changes occurring during storage microbial changes the next one is b that is microbial changes mainly caused by bacteria then molds bacterial foliage is called as rods rods three chief ones are green rods colorless rods black rods the other two are pink rods and red rods let us discuss the rods first one is green rods caused by pseudomonas fluorescence it can grow at zero degree celsius bright green color of egg white during early stages of development green rot is caused by pseudomonas fluorescence later stages yolk disintegrates and burns with white odor is lacking or it is fruity or sweetish contents of egg fluorescence strongly under uv light next the colorless rods caused by pseudomonas acinetobacter alkaligens certain coliform bacteria also will cause this colorless rods detected by candling we had already discussed about this candling yolk disintegrates or shows a white incrustation order varies from a scarcely detectable one to fruity to highly offensive black rot it is caused mainly by species of proteus which species proteus which will cause it will cause black rot pseudomonas and aeromonas can also cause this black spot proteus melanogens cause black color in yolk and dark color in white opaque to candling light yolk blackens and whole egg becomes muddy brown in color caused when egg is stored at temperature higher than the ordinary gas and hydrogen sulfide develops putrid order will be there pink rods it is caused by strains of pseudomonas pinkish precipitate on the yolk and a pink color in the egg white that is pink rods caused by pseudomonas red rods caused by species of serratia most in infrequently occurring one and order is mild and not offensive fungal spoilage of eggs Spoilage of eggs by fungi goes through stages of mold growth that gives the defect their names. There are different stages. Pin spot molding. Very early mold growth. Small compact colonies of molds appear on the shell and inside it. Yellow or blue or green spots inside the shell caused by penicillium species. Dark green or black spots by cladosporium species. Pink spots, sporotrichum species. Superficial fungal spoilage occurs due to the storage at high humidity. First form a fuzz or whiskers covering the shell and later more luxuriant growth occurs. Include species of penicillium, 
Cladosporium, Sporotrichum, Mucor, Alternaria and Botrytis. Fungal rotting. Final stage of spoilage. Mycelium of the mold goes through the pores of tracts in the egg. Jellying of egg white and colored broths are seen. Hyphae of the mold weakens the yolk membrane and causes its rupture. Fungal red spot is caused by sporotrichum, black spots, cladosporium. Development of off flowers, mustiness, acromobacter, pelolens, pseudomonas, gaviolens, pseudomonas, mucidolens. It will cause mustiness, earthy or musty flowers, streptomyces, hay order, enderobacter, cloacae. Fishy flowers, strains of E. coli, cabbage, water flavor appears before rotting. Cold storage taste caused due to packing material. Preservation of the shell eggs. Eggs can be preserved by four different methods. Wet immersion method used only for infertile, fresh, good quality eggs. Lime sealing method, a saturated solution of lime water is used over here. Eggs are held in lime water for 14 to 16 hours. During immersion, carbon dioxide released from the egg combines with lime to form calcium carbonate with deposits and seals shell spores. Sorry, shell spores. Then it is removed and stored at room temperature. Such eggs can be stored for three to four weeks at room temperature. That is lime sealing method. Next, the water glass method. Water glass, 10% solution of sodium silicate is used over here. In this method, water should be boiled and cooled to 24 to 26 degrees Celsius to remove the dissolved carbon dioxide before the addition of calculated amount of sodium silicate. Eggs are kept overnight and then removed and stored at room temperature. Dry methods, oiling. The quality of egg is preserved by sealing the shell pores using suitable oil and thus preventing evaporation of water, carbon dioxide and other changes. Oiling can be done by dip method or spray method. All eggs can be preserved up to three weeks at room temperature. Next, we gaseous atmosphere. Modified atmosphere packing of eggs have proved to improve its shelf life. Maintenance of higher carbon dioxide pressure surrounding the eggs prevent carbon dioxide loss from the egg, thus improves the egg quality. Thermostabilization or heat treatment methods. Fertile, fresh eggs can be preserved by this method. Eggs are thermostabilized by immersing it in boiling water for 3 to 5 minutes while keeping the water stirred constantly. Constant stirring should be there. This heat treatment coagulates the albumen very close to the shell and thus prevents carbon dioxide loss. These eggs can be stored at room temperature for 3 to 4 weeks. That is all about thermostabilization or heat treatment methods. Next, the fourth one, cold storage or refrigeration. Long time storage of 5 to 6 months at minus 1.1 degrees Celsius and 85 to 90% relative humidity. For short, short term storage, 2 to 3 weeks, a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of 60 to 70 percentage is sufficient. Packaging of X transport damage is 2 to 5 percentage, which can be reduced to 1 percentage by appropriate packaging. Different types of egg packages, grain by products, packing eggs with clean and odorless rice husks, wheat chaff or chopped straw in a firm walled basket or crate greatly decreases the risk of shell damage. Fit for short distance transport, filler trays. Filler trays are made of wood pulp molded to accommodate the eggs. They are constructed so that they can be stacked one on top of the other and can also be placed in boxes ready for transport. Filler can also be made of plastic. The cases are made up of commonly cardboard, sawn wood also used. 
retail packages small and specific for retail sale made of paperboard or molded wood pulp or can be made of plastic folded paperboard cases with string plastic films over our example pe pvc and pvdc egg cases polystyrene is used labeling details of x their size and weight and quality or grade description should be there labels may also indicate the producer where the egg eggs were laid how to store them and their expiration date processing of egg egg products are processed into convenience forms of eggs for commercial food service and home use before breaking they are washed in water at least 20 degrees celsius warmer than that of the egg and spray rinsed with a sanitizing agent they may be moist but not wet when they are broken as per egg product inspection act all egg processing plants must follow below conditions like pasteurization of all egg products is mandatory shell eggs used for egg products must be clean and of edible interior quality egg products can be classified as follows first one refrigerated liquid products like egg whites egg yolk various blends of yolk and white next up b frozen products egg white egg yolk salted yolk sugared yolk whole egg salted whole egg egg white and whole egg can be frozen as such without any additives freezing egg yolk becomes gummy and thick due to gelation this can be prevented by the addition of 10 percent sugar or salt or glycerin 5 percent sugar yolk used by bakers confectioners Salted yolk used by mayonnaise manufacturers. Dried or dehydrated products. Spray dried egg white solids, instant egg white solids, whole egg or yolk solids, free flowing whole egg or yolk solids. Methods Spray drying, tray drying, form drying, or freeze drying use will be used. Enzymatic method here browning can be prevented by removing glucose. This is known as desugaring and is practiced prior to the drying of all egg white. Desugaring methods, enzymatic method by glucose oxidase, bacterial fermentation by aerobacter aerogens, and yeast fermentation by saccharomyces, saccharomyces cerevisiae. Specialty products, freeze dried scrambled eggs, frozen pre cooked products like egg patties, fried eggs crepes egg pizza etc vegetarian eggs what are vegetarian eggs vegetarian eggs are unfertilized eggs of hen and they are formed without the function of sperm the leg horns are genetically improved birds which produce through successive generations under improved breeding methods eggs are larger in size have more albumin Eggs cannot be incubated, shall always white in color. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications.